Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Mark here with the Crypto Mark. Let's get into kind of what's going on with everything going on in crypto. And that's kind of why I wanted to make this video because we're not gonna be talking about meme coins, all coins. Yes, it's important. Yes, we all have them. But more so within what we're gonna talk about, it's kind of the overall shape of crypto that I think gets lost in the shuffle when we do talk more so about meme coins and all coins. So there was some big stuff happening. Uh, some big comments I want to get into coming out from uh, Bitcoin 2024 that was happening in Naf uh, Nashville. Um, you know, for, from all accounts, the people that I know that went, um, it was a fantastic event, a great city for it. Um, looking forward to possibly going 2025. I've been to them before, um, just wasn't able to make it this year. So uh, let's get down into it. I'm gonna give you guys what's going on right now. Uh, if you haven't done so, perfect time to subscribe down below as well smash that like button and feel free to comment in on what I'm talking about. So uh, what I wanted to share with you guys is kind of stemming off of presidential uh, candidate Donald Trump, right? The former president, hopeful to be the next president, Donald Trump. Um, regardless of your pol political affiliation, uh, this was a monumental uh, sequence of events that's happened. Uh, I mean, the guy was basically assassinated and then all of a sudden uh, he's giving one of the most pro crypto speeches uh, that we've had in my lifetime. So. I want to share with you guys what that means. Uh, Bitcoin, as we all know, um, the riser of all tides, uh, down a little bit over 1% at the time of recording. Uh, it was a pretty steep sell-off that we saw, and this is what's happening, okay? Uh, Bitcoin fell a little bit below 67,000 after hitting that 70K mark, right? We all knew it would sell off within 70,000. That's a psychological barrier, uh, even if there was no negative sentiment going around. Uh, traders. Uh, they're going to be taking profits. They're going to be trading uh, pretty actively around that 70K. Uh, we've done it. We've, we've, we've tried it once before, right? Uh, we attempted to break through, uh, but that floor, that psychological plateau, uh, we, we held tough and it fell again uh, once more. So this is where we went a little bit below 67,000. And this was due to the government moving $2 billion of the Silk Road tokens. Now, uh, the, mo the more important comment that I want to make is what presidential candidate Trump said, okay, is one of the most bullish statements that we've had in crypto, okay? What he said was that, and what he plans to do is, the actual quote was stacking Bitcoin, okay, if he's elected president, okay? So uh, you can see what's kind of happening within that. Um, this is something where he promises a strategic national Bitcoin stockpile if elected, uh, you could just see and connect the dots on how large that magnitude would be if that were to happen, okay? Uh, he only mentioned Bitcoin. I know it was a Bitcoin, you know, convention, right? Um, but as it relates to crypto, uh, I guarantee you if the government's buying uh, a Bitcoin surplus, it, they're going to be buying other crypto as well, okay? So it's all tied in together. But more so when we talk about this, this downfall, this little downturn we're having, isn't necessarily related to those comments, but it's important because of the timeline, right? And we look into this, right? I think the number dating back to before these comments, Bitcoin held by the US government was around $12 billion in assets, okay? But now as we see this, okay, this little one and a half or so, give or take percent uh, decrease that we're having on the day uh, amidst these liquidations, the relevancy is that I think that a big move is happening for crypto in 2024, okay? Uh, if you guys were privileged enough and fortunate to get into some of the MAGA coins, um, even Geo Bowden, um, some of the Solana meme coins that uh, went absolutely parabolic with uh, kind of their run on the chart uh, within these these hopefuls, okay? Um, you know, obviously Biden's out of the race, so I'm sure his meme coin has plummeted. Um, but we've been scooping them up and they have been very, very healthy trades. Um, if you were able to get in early, as always, uh, but that's something where, you know, it's not over with. We're gonna keep our eyes out for more presidential meme coins uh, with this election. But I think the biggest story that we have right now is the what if, okay? Uh, forget the polls, forget all the data, forget if you vote Republican, if you vote Democrat. Quite frankly, I don't care about that. All I care about is that crypto is doing well, that our bags are secure, and in that same breath, if a candidate is going to help us reach those two goals, then by all means. Uh, I think that's something very bullish uh, across the board. So 
Yes, we're down a, a one and a half percent. Yes, we fell, uh, we fell short of breaking through 70,000. Does it bother me? Absolutely not. So, um, you know, we see these huge days where Bitcoin's down, you know, a thousand or 2000, what have you. It doesn't really matter uh, for me and my crypto. This is the greater good. This is something where, you know, some of the cryptos that I have, I'm not married to them. I don't keep them longer than two days, let alone two weeks. Some of the cryptos I buy, uh, I've held way over two years. I haven't sold any of them. Uh, it just it just really all varies and it's all, uh, it all hinges on kind of what you guys want out of your uh, own financial interests, okay? So I wanted to share with, share with you what actually happened. A lot of people probably did not tune in, watch the live stream, watch the highlights from Bitcoin uh, to 2024 in Nashville, but those statements, and I'm gonna say it once more because some people might be tuning in late, but um, the actual quote was, uh, the promise, I should say, the actual promise was that he would create a national Bitcoin stockpile if elected. So say that about 10 times, and if you can't get bullish, then I don't really know what else to do. Uh, so that's kind of what we're looking at uh, as we move forward in this whole rat race uh, that we call crypto. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Please remember not financial advice. Leave your comments down below. Also smash that like button and please subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I want to know what you guys all have to think about this. Um, the election, uh, Bitcoin breaking through 70K. And I think the most alarming thing about this all is if Bitcoin did bust through 70K, when would it, where would it stop? All right, that's kind of my question, number one. And number two, why are some of the alts not really following suit? That's the other question that I have. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more videos. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. See you guys in the next one.